Ready for school tomorrow? Yeah, Melissa, good luck. I told him, Hector, TV is a narcotic. It drains away your man if you watch it all the time. It is a drug. Exactly, a drug. There he is, a young fellow, only 67 years old. Already his eyes are turning into headlights. It got to where I practically had to drag him to bed. Well, that's what bust us up. Oh, hey. These are the dumpies from Cincinnati. Dumpies. He makes this cute little get well card. She writes the verses. You got any X-rated card? Not as yet, Mrs. Peach. Oh, say, that looks delicious. Why don't you squeeze a little shot of lemon in there, you old zinc to it? Yeah. Live a little, huh? <coughs> now, where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything is under control, Stan. Hi, Dad. She no longer has access to the room keys. I can't do that. She is my mother. I've already explained that. It was nothing more than a misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. Great. Well, Griffith is not the manager of this hotel. I am. Just trust me, okay? The wiring in 405 is all set. I'll finish 406 tomorrow. Tomorrow? When? 
don't know. After lunch. That's too late. What do you want, miracles? I got, I got to talk to her. Hold on, okay? Marty, will you please wait? She's not in the pump room. Oh, God. I can't be everywhere. Look, I'm on my break. She's in the bar. Alone? Hey, I'm out of here. I got a union meeting. I'll call you back, okay? Yeah. R bye. Where is he? Uh, well, as usual, this hotel is operating like a well-oiled machine. You got time for dinner? Come on, I'll make time. Ask Griffin. Mr. Peach, things are going quite badly. Hmm. The fourth floor is a disaster area. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Dunphy there at the bar alleges that her husband was propositioned by an elderly lady, and we know who that was. Senator Byram has had his suite double booked. Okay. I will take care of Mrs. Dunphy and the senator, and you take care of the fourth floor. And you, young man, still have to eat. Well, I'll try and join you. Okay. Hello. Hello, miss. Have you seen it? Oh, you wouldn't be, Mrs. Dunn. Well, for crying out loud, you were described so differently to me. <laughs> you look wonderful, miss. Must be your father. I saw you. You did not, you little liar. Nobody suspects a bad attack. I saw it coming a mile off. Oh. No, no. Don't you strike a woman. Men think women want that. They're wrong. Leave her before you strike her. Cliff, you put that pillow down. Put it right down. That's it. All right, I quit. I quit. I give up. Oh, you dirty, rotten kid. You never take my advice. Look, look what I got for you today. Here it is. A, a brand new notebook and a pack of paper and uh, pens and pencils and an eraser. I always loved opening day of school myself. I just love going in the stationery stores. They smell so terrific. Lumbiards, too. And bookstores. Yeah, yeah. Nothing smells better than a good new book. Mother! Shh. Mm. Mother! <laughs> Mother! How did you know I was back there? A little heavy on the jungle gardenia. Oh, that smell, Lord. A thousand men into my clutches. Don't Your listen. clutches is precisely the subject of tonight's sermon, and it's one we've talked about before many times. I like the thou shalt nots best. Mother, I do not own this hotel. I simply manage it. Yeah. Don't underrate yourself, Larry. Where would this place be without you? With a brand new manager, that's where. And Griffith's been watching me like a vulture. Ooh, that greasy wimp. Well, the point is, he tells me that you tried to pick up some guy from Cincinnati, a married man, Mom. We were talking. We had a few drinks. It was perfectly innocent. His wife was there all the time. Okay. Well, where do you suggest we go when they kick us out of this hotel. Eh, uh, well, the old actor's home. I'd be a resident, you'd be a manager. Cliffy would be a bus boy. <laughs> I'll just retire. No, you, young man, are going to school and try to act like a student. I am going downstairs and try to act like a hotel manager. And Mom... Yes, Larry? Try, for God's sake, to act your age. I hope he acts his age. You gonna act your age? I'll try. Yeah, I'm not gonna try. You try.
give him hell, champ. I'll pick you up at three. gum that are dating back to Neanderthal times. Really? The gum's not the worst. It's the boogers that freak me out. Pretty awesome. You get hepatitis from the fresh ones. Hey, Shelly. What do mean you're going out tonight? Ask Moody. <laughs> <laughs> he's a new kid. I know. He's kind of little. Ask him where he's from. You ask him. Oh, go on. Weren't you in Mr. Sanford's English class last year? No, I, I'm new. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's new. Ladies and degenerates, here's Moody. Don't applaud, just throw money. I'm sure we're all thrilled to have Mr. Moody among us as we begin this great adventure known as your sophomore year. Save the seat for you. Thanks a lot. Hey, Will, you want to take this seat? Hey, you know, you grew up a lot over the summer, baby. But you get this beautiful hair. Kmart. <laughs> Kmart. <laughs> so funny. Excuse me, Mr. Moody. Are you having trouble finding a seat? Yeah, I have one, but this sucker swiped it from me. I was here first. Bullshit. If you can't find a seat back here, I'd be glad to have you come sit up front with me. Alan Blumenthal. Cindy Russ. Who wore that seat? Ricky Linderman. Does anybody know if Ricky Linderman is in school? I hope not. Who wants him? Who's Linderman? No one. Just a local mass murderer. Okay. Does anybody know for a fact if Ricky Linderman is in school or not today? Probably in New York climbing the Empire State Building. Thank you. Clifford P E A C H E. Clifford, is that peach or peachy? Peach. No one was fruit. <laughs> what, what did you say, Melvin? Mel Melvin. Melvin. I don't go by that no more, Clarice. Oh. 
Fair enough. All right, why don't you call me Ms. Jump, and what shall we call you? M. Big M. I like that. Is that BM for sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That kid's gonna get him. You got nerve, even if you ain't gonna live long. You and me, we're gonna have a little talk after school. Right? Whoa. Right? Huh? You know, that was so dumb what you said to Mooney this morning. I never saw anybody put him down before. I hope you get away with it. Yeah, I'll just wait. Just don't let him catch you in the halls alone. Or on the stairs, either. Yeah, I'll go to the Or especially in the bathrooms. I never go to the bathroom here if I can help it. Well, what do you do? Just hold it in. Stay away from liquids. I know, that's ridiculous. You think so? They say one kid got thrown out of a window last year. Supposedly, he's a vegetable now. That's dumb. Who told you that? Plenty of people. Then there's this other guy. Had his eye kicked out. Total gross out. Never found the eyeball, either. How are we doing here? What do we got? We've done this before. Yeah. Did Moody do that? What? Kicked the guy's eye out. No, I'm not saying he did, and I'm not saying he didn't. But from my point of view, you're better off paying him the protection money. You pay Moody protection money? Shh. You better believe it. Lots of kids do. He takes a lunch money every day. So now I'm brown bagging him. Now he claims he's going to take my bus fare. I don't think you should let him get away with it. Yeah, I know, but I'm kind of addicted to breathing. Party after school, Peachy. You're the guest honor. Yeah, but I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, I know. Good morning. Got a present for you. Just a second. It's gonna be a dollar every day for now, and you got it. Get hey, it's Peach Pit. What do you say? I'm just trying to make friends. Don't you want to be friends? All right, here. What about me? Sure, shake hands with Dubrow. How you doing? Where'd you go to school before you came here, man? Southside Academy. Ooh, cost a lot of money to go there. Are you rich? No. Hey, that's nothing to be ashamed of, man. No, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> Knew he was rich. No, I'm not, really. Hey, listen, pal. It's obvious you got the bread. The question is, you got sense? You serious, man? Do you have sense? Hmm? Hmm? Think so sometimes. I think so too. So if you got sense, you'll know this is no private academy. Now you go to a school like this, you need a damn bodyguard. You know, we got Ricky Linderman in our homeroom. You know about Linderman? It's a psychopath. Just went berserk. Wasted some kid. Shot him in the head. 
blew his brain out. Why did he do that? Because probably he was a pain in the ass. Guys like Lindemann lose control after a while, I tell you. Yeah! Like that, you know? That's when you come to us for bodyguards. Interested? I don't know. Maybe it's cheap. Uh, buck a day. Buck a day? Yeah, buck a day. We give everyone the same day. You can work it out. Day to day or week to week. Any way you want to work it out, man. Where am I going to get a dollar a day? Lunch money. You don't eat that crap anyway. 50 cents they charge for that Godzilla fee. It's a ripoff. 60 if you want two milks. So, for that same 60 cents, talking two milks. Got us almost paid for it. Now all else you got to do is uh, scrape up another 40. I'm not gonna give him my lunch money. I have to eat. You gotta eat, huh? Come here. Tell you what. Eat this. Suddenly changes his mind, eh? Some kids from school who, who want to kill me. I'd like to speak to Mr. Dobbs, please. Mm hmm. Chief of Operations, yes. This is Mr. Griffith, Assistant Manager of the Ambassador East. Mm hmm. No, well, I think he will want to speak to me once he knows what it's about. Tell him it's quite important. Yes, I'll wait. Fire, don't put the fire. Watch the ribs over there. Don't burn the ribs. Medium rare, the steak medium rare, okay? Okay. You have to tell me, huh? Stop burning, stop burning. David, David, this is entirely too long. Hey, I'm going to make sure to look at more things. Okay, ladies, let's pick it up, please. Can I have a ceviche in the window? All right, hello, 24 back there, please. I'll be right back for you. All right, thank you. Babe, I need some more fire. Yeah. Yeah. Cyril! Cyril! 
I just thought you might like to know my soup was cold. How cold is what? it? Very funny. Uh, David? And I'll come in very neat, very neat. He's, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Have you got any ideas uh, who would come in good in the fourth tomorrow? I don't know. Lucky Lou, I guess. Handicapping is a science, not guesswork. How about Cousin Ed? Yeah. I've got an idea. Why don't we just pack our things and leave? Have a minute. Mother? Where were you today at 5 o'clock? Yeah, 5 o'clock. Let me see. I have a little drink. Well, the guy you tried to lure into the bar is a television evangelist. No wonder he looks so sour. You think he was sour? You should have seen Griffith's face when he heard about it. Mother, we cannot have this kind of thing going on any lo Oh, wow. This is not the one we saw last night, is it? It's a red sweater. <laughs> no sweater. <laughs> okay, let me no, see. no, Clifford, Clifford, you're too young. You're 14. I'm 15, let me oh, see. Oh, you're 15. That's one. You're 15? Yeah. Well, I should know that, shouldn't I? It's this damn job, 24 hours a day. I'm sorry. Hey, I heard you got in a little trouble with some kids today. Yeah. Ah, quit worrying. Your dad called up Ray's hell about those boys. Called the school? Yeah. Great, now I really get slaughtered. Clifford, you're not gonna get slaughtered. I already think I'm a fruit. Clifford, the principal is going to talk to those boys and straighten this whole thing out. And if they try anything, you go right for the eye, see? Hit them hard as you can, blind them, takes the fight right out of them. Mother, I don't think that blinding fists is the answer to this problem. Well, then, kick them in the cojones. That's the thing. <laughs> no. No. For I'm older. I need this one. <laughs> I would. You know that. But, I mean, you can't even take a joke. I don't see the humor in extortion, real or pretended. Oh, yes, I, I know. I... Well, maybe, maybe I guess I could have backfired a little bit. You bet it backfired on you. Yes, I... I ought to suspend you. But since school has just started and since no harm was actually done, I'm going to be a very nice guy and let you off. Thanks. With a week's detention. Thanks. All right? Take a walk. Clifford. Clifford. Things are a little less sheltered down here than they are at Southside, you know, but don't let that throw you. They're also less narrow. Just don't cry wolf every time somebody looks at you across it. All right, son? All right, get out. trouble. People don't do that around here. So you better grow some eyes in back of your head. Because you ain't gonna know when it's coming. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet were a couple of kids that had the hearts for each other. And they couldn't do anything about it because they lived in a society where they had to be married to do anything about it. You still do. Romeo and Juliet is a play about love and sex and people that were willing to die for it. Yeah, and I'm dying for it right now. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Uh, we're talking about love and art. Um... Uh-oh. Trouble. It's Slenderman. 
Do you have a pass? You do have a pass. Thank you. Uh, if you'd like to take a seat in the front, you can. Watch the rough stuff. It's only practice. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on, this is basketball. Let's move it.
in a minute. Can I see something? Please, it, it's, it's important. Uh, I hope you don't get mad or anything. But, uh, would you like to make some money? You see, there are these guys. And, uh, maybe you've noticed them in the bathroom. And they're trying to make me pay protection. From what? Well, from themselves, of course, but that's not what they say. They say that they're protecting me and some other kids from, well, mainly you. From me? Yeah, I know that's not true. Yeah. Well, at least I think it's not. But that's how I came up with this idea. What idea? Oh, to pay you to be my bodyguard. Maybe some of the other kids could, too. I, also, I could do your homework. I'm pretty smart. But at least it's not paying extortion. Not interested. She calls herself Dolores. She was in the Broadway chorus, known as Susie Danahoo. Good morning, Mrs. Oh. Peach. How are we today? You're not well? Oh, I feel wonderful. Just wonderful. Ah, oh, she can take a tambourine and whack it, but it's just a racket. She's a hoofer from Fifth Avenue. She's a Latin from Manhattan. Good morning, Mother. Griffith, good morning. You want some breakfast? It's a uh, liver. No, thank you. I just came by to tell you that we got a phone call from Mr. Dobbs. Mr. Dobbs? Chief of Operations. He's going to be paying us a little visit. Any particular reason? Search me. Ah, what's that all about? Guess. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, nice to hear you saying grace again, sweetheart. Only kidding, Mother. It's very good. School okay? Yeah, terrific. You sure? I could call the principal again. Dad, it's okay. School's fine. I'm fine. Everything's just perfect. Are you taking a trip? Where does Linderman hang out? Slaughterhouse, probably. What's the matter with him, anyway? A lot of things, from what I hear. For one thing, he was supposed to have raped a teacher. I also heard he shot a cop. I happen to know for a fact that what he did was kill a kid. About a year ago, in cold blood, blew his brains out. I don't believe it. Look it up, then. It's in the newspapers. I still don't believe it. He would not have stopped then for anything less necessary than breath, it being a spectral sort of race that he ran, and one highly desirable to get to the end of. 
he had a strong idea that the coffin he had seen was running after him and pictured as hopping on behind him, bolt upright upon its narrow end, always on the point of overtaking him and hopping on at his side, perhaps taking his arm. It was a pursuer to shun. It hid in doorways, too, rubbing its horrible shoulders against doors and drawing them up to its ears as if it were laughing. It got into shadows on the road and lay cunningly on its back to trip him up. All this time, it was incessantly hopping on behind and gaining on him, so that when the boy got to his own door, he had reason for being half dead. No, I mean... Where's my money, Red? Well, I didn't think I'd have paid this. Clifford isn't. Would you call me? No. You heard him, didn't you, race me? Yeah. Dumb son of a bitch. to head because you're dead. Look at this shirt. Look what you did to this. Moody? 
I'd like you to meet my bodyguard. Anything you want to say to me? Talk to him first. Now, uh, what was that you were saying? Beat it, Cody. Man, take this guy. It's all yours, Big M. Go ahead, Cody. Show him how tough you are. Watch your guy. Take this dude. It's a chump, man. Who's the food this time, huh, Cody? Good luck. He said, don't leave me hanging, man. Not now. Oh, and Melvin, your protection services are no longer required. By anyone, you know what I mean? You can go now. Hey, Moody. You owe me a year's worth of lunches. Carson flipping the bird. What, didn't you love it? You know, we're not going to let him until he pays back every cent he ever took from everybody. Y'all through now? What's wrong? We aren't doing anything. Got it? But are we? Uh... I thought we were sort of a team now. You saw it wrong. kids in the class. Did you try asking one of the kids in the class? Uh, well, it's Linderman. Oh, Ricky Linderman, huh? Yeah. What do you want to know about Ricky Linderman? Everybody's afraid of him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be, but there are all those stories about him. What do you think about all those stories? Well, they can't all be true. Well, I know something that happened. Would you like to know what I know? Yes. About a year ago, he had a younger brother. And the kid was playing at home one day, went into his father's closet, found a gun that was loaded and was playing, and it accidentally went off. And he killed himself. And Ricky, unfortunately, was the first person to find the body. I think he's recuperated from that. That's the only story I know. But what about all those stories about him killing a cop and breaking teacher's legs? Like... I don't know about those stories. All I know is what I just told you. Okay. Okay? Does that help you at all? Yeah, I think so.
the same. What do you call this stuff? Garbage. <laughs> Now, if you pass the salt. Just getting salt. Okay, so maybe we're not a team. Maybe I was wrong. But I thought when somebody does somebody a favor, he owes them one. You don't know me. Yes, I do. You didn't have to do what you did, but you did it anyway. You know, I thought it meant that we were friends now. Uh, you didn't even accept money for it. Where are you going? Show's over. What show? That wasn't any show. Get lost. All I want to go is get what you want. Move up a bit, come on. You know, at night the cops won't even walk around here. Next time you want to pull anything like this, call a detective. Okay, follow him. Come on. Look, it's one way. I... Well, follow anyway. Well, it's, it, look, it's a one-way street. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, Cliff? Come back. Hey, Cliff. What are you following me for? I told you. I thought maybe we could be friends. We can't. Linderman. Look, I know about what happened. 
with your brother and everything. You do, huh? Sure, I mean, hell, it, it could have happened to anybody. Drop it. Okay? Ricky! What? Where am I and how the hell do I get out of here? Climb aboard. Yeah? this thing together for about a year now and I'm down to one lousy cylinder. You built this? Rebuilt. Almost. She died a couple years ago, car accident. Too bad. Yeah, my grandmother moved in with us. She's like no one I've ever seen before. You know, she's really old, but she acts like a kid. She gets a little drunk, picks up guys. A kid? Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, no, she is, really. Yeah, uh, we gotta keep an eye on her, because, uh, you know, she gets into things. She's afraid of being old. Dying. No, I think she's afraid of not being alive. And my dad had one of those. Looked like that then. <laughs> What's your dad do? Watch his TV. this. raise him since he was two. Drive you crazy. Tell him to sit down, he'd stand up. Tell him to do his homework, he'd read a comic book. Couldn't eat food without spitting it at you. Real shoplifter, too. 
go through a store, half of it wind up in his pocket. He was a good kid. Real handful, though. Poor little guy. Poor little guy. Mr. Dobbs. I gotta go. Hello, Mrs. Beats. I'd like you to meet Mr. Dobbs. He's chief of hotel operations. How do you do? Hi, a good looking. Griffiths has been telling me a great deal about you. Has he? Oh, well, um, uh, sit down. Uh, have a little drink. Uh, they don't ever charge me for a... You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, this is really the life. You know, it's interesting. I must have met about a million people. The only problem is not too many kids, mostly adults. Anytime you want to trade, it's okay with me. Some view. It's good for stargazing? Uh, eh. the stars, the uh, moon, and uh, other heavenly bodies. All right. <laughs> what time is it? About seven. That's Linda over there. So I trust your stay here was a pleasant one. Very pleasant. And the room was all right? Perfect. And the service was adequate? More than adequate. Thank you. You're welcome. When will you be visiting us next? Friday. Well, I think we can accommodate you. I certainly hope so. Dad? So, have a very safe flight, uh, Mr. Koo. This is yours. To end your key. You already have it, Peachy. Of course. Mr. Peach, we're yeah. talking a two-day job on the air conditioning. If it gets any hotter in here, we're going to have some miserable customers. Well, what if we work through the night? Night? That way we just have one day without air conditioning. Night? Night. I would appreciate it. Okay. Peach here. Thank you. Peach here. My mother. Oh, no. Where? How serious is it?
Mother, are you? What is? It just this? don't get excited. He's all right. Didn't know his limitations. I warned him, but he kept saying he was an animal, an animal. Give me this. Give me this. Do you know who this is? <laughs> Your goose is really cooked this time, Peach. She's finally done it. Griffith, will you stop hovering over me? Get away from me. I'm just getting my second wind. You can really dance, sweetheart. You're not so bad yourself, Topsy. Just a little out of shape is all. Well, I haven't danced. I had a good time for ever so long. Sir, I... Get away! I see you for a second. Griffith, uh, sit down. They're getting along so well, aren't they? So why don't you go and check on tomorrow's reservations? Better yet, why don't you go and make some reservations for yourself? It's some nice little comfy hotel where you can go and soak your feet after a hard day of job hunting. But I... Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. You want a job, Cliffy? No. You just go up to your room, get a little rest, because we got a long night ahead of us. All right. But you'll be right here when I come back in an hour, or I'll be coming after you. Room 735, if I'm not right here. Peach, you run a nice, lively hotel here. Oh, thank you. Um, are you Lindemann? Would you care to trip the light? Fantastic. Come on. Mother? No. Wow. Let's go eat some dinner. That's... Go like this. Drop the boom, kid. Hey, hey, terrific hotline. You got a lot of girlfriends? No, ma'am. <laughs> I'm talking in the future, smart guy. You're also very intellectually inclined. I think that's in the future, too. I have to be right about something. Are you sure this is your hand? Wish I could deny it. What happened to your wrist? Nothing. Accident. Let me finish. Open up, Ricky. You're among friends. You're among friends. I see a long lifeline. Very good, very valuable. You know, back? I'm saying things. You're gonna live for ten more years and you're gonna snuff it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's broken in half. Later on Is it? Car. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you're gonna die. Ooh, you're gonna die. Yeah, these, these oh, are your need for affection lines. <laughs> and you don't know. Like, let's see how we... Look like Rick God, this guy. He's a sex maniac. He <laughs> <laughs> Real playboy, huh? Mine's just love me, love me. What, what are you trying to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this shot. Here, let me make it. Let me I, what does devil joint of gum mean? This is the best yeah. damn food yeah, in this whole area. Yeah. Can you, I go around. Can you really? touch? Seriously. Hey, I've been around. looking for you guys. Better than. Got someone I want you to meet. Clifford, this is Mike. Ricky, this is Mike. 
my bike. Be safe, pal. Booty tells me you're a real tough guy, huh? You're a real killer. Is that right? Beat up kids. Rape old ladies. Is that right? Huh? Heard you even killed your own brother. Got away with it, too, I heard. That's bullshit. Is it bullshit, huh, Rick? Huh? Uh, is it bullshit? <laughs> hey, killer. Why are you on your knees? You queer or something? Huh? Come on, get up. Huh? You gonna hurt me? You really think you're gonna hurt me? You're not so tough. I thought you said this guy is tough, huh? <laughs> yeah, we'll see, huh? Yeah. What is this here? What is that? That's gonna make the chain's gonna make you tough? Huh? Tough magazine, huh? Hey, he reads, huh? Got an education, huh? You're not so tough. You're not so tough, are you? Huh? 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 So tough, are you? Show me what you got. <laughs> yeah. Real menace, man. Real menace. Why don't you go kick his ass, son? Is this your tough bike? Huh? Is this your tough bike? Don't look so tough to me. You think I'm tough enough to ride this? Huh? Come on, get up. I think I want to ride it too. I said, get up! See how tough this bike is, huh? Hey, don't. Get him. Let me go. He's gonna wreck me. Oh. Hey, Moody. Thought you said this guy was bad, huh? He don't look so bad to me. Ah! Oh. Oh, come on. It's a tick to get this man going, huh? Get up, man. Hey, Leave him alone. Come on, Moody. Hey, Moody, this is a drag, man. Give me a call when you really need me, you know? I like to earn my money. Want me to kick your ass? Yes or no? Yeah, he wants me to kick his ass. Yeah, he wants me to kick his ass. Mm. 
Okay. What happened? Why didn't you fight? Hey, where are you going? Come on, where are you going? Anyone there? Linderman. hours ago. Do you know where he could be? No. Uh, listen, uh, what's your name? Clifford. Clifford, uh, if you see him, tell him on real word you should get home, okay? Okay. Up here. I need some money. Where were you? I was looking everywhere for you. You got any money, Clifford? Six bucks is all I got. Nice, Cliff. Good kid. Oh, that's great. Give me some money. Thanks. Bye. That's real class. Where you going? Hey, 
gentlemen. Linderman. Slow down, will ya? Go home, Clifford. You got a nice place, a nice family. Just leave me alone. It's a fight, isn't it? I couldn't fight, so what? Never want to be anyone's damn bodyguard anyway. I told you that. It's on account of your brother. You can't fight because of what happened to your brother. That's it, isn't it? What do you know? It's a lousy excuse is what I know. It's nothing, Linda. Shut up! Talk to anybody for more than a year. You walk around like a damn ape for nothing. Shut up, Clifford. You build a bike to run away for no reason, to go nowhere, and get some jerk thrown into the lake. Shut up! All because of something you had nothing to do with. I mean, anybody could have found your brother. It just happened to be you. That's Shut all. Up. Shut up! I didn't find him. I killed him. I shot him. Jesus. I was showing off, showing off, you know, like a goddamn fool. He said, let me hold it. And I said, no, no, you're not allowed to. And he got mad and he grabbed it and it fired. My God, I was laughing. I was laughing when it went off. Blood gushed out of the side of his head and he didn't even know it. You know what he was worried about? He was afraid when Dad got home, he'd get spanked. Last thing he said to me, he said, you're going to have to take the blame for this one. I couldn't even do that right. I lied. I put the gun in his hand. I said, I found him that way. never told anyone before. But it wasn't your fault. You didn't mean for it to happen. I'm sorry, Clifford. I know you mean well. I let everybody down. It's the way I am. Go home, Clifford. Oh, it can't be that bad. It's worse than ever. They took my bus fare. They flushed my lunch down to John. 
They called my mother names I never even heard of. I'm gonna quit school. I'll never graduate anyway. Where are you going? Home, I guess. Well, come on, I'll buy you both a drink. You might have tried to call or something. He'll be back. He just needs time to think. Hope you're right. I am. I'm always right. See, that's the thing you're gonna learn about. And someday you'll come to me and you'll say, Shelly, Shelly, darling, you're always right. Hey, look. Over there. Slenderman. Did you get that thing out of there yourself? I know, dumb question. I was really scared. <laughs> I can cheat, can I? I mean, yeah, I can cheat. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where'd you guys find my bike? What, you been fishing? Oh, no. Thanks, I'll take it now. Hey, Mike! Moody, you're a real bastard. Lindemann, you picking on Moody again? Huh? You're really beginning to annoy me. Look, just don't get us any trouble. Enough is enough, all right? Get out of here, Lindemann, you got three seconds to make your split. Now get. Uh-uh. Without the bike. <laughs> it's Moody's now. One. Two. Tell you, some guys never learn. Okay. Take it. Ugh! <sighs> 
Slow down, slow down. Cover up. Come on, man. Get him. Get him. Oh. 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 Come on, get him. Oh. Oh. Get him. Oh. Oh. You want your ass kick? Come on. Come on, you faggot. Come on, wimp. Go for his nose. Thanks. You're a wonderful human being. You know that? What do you need, your damn bodyguard over there? Come on. Get him. I want to get him. better that way. Oh, my. Nose, man. You want to oh, see him? Hey, Moody. Hey, stretcher. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, way to nice go. Face. <laughs> Real impressive fight, everyone. Oh, yeah. Real friend. What do you expect? Oh, good, Moody. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't touch me. Come on. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. I had this idea. You're a pretty good fighter back there. I was wondering, would you like to be my bodyguard? <laughs> I could pay you 50 cents a day. I could do your homework for you. I'm pretty smart. Not interested. <laughs> anyway, a fuck a day. A fuck a day? Fuck a day. Inflation, buddy. Inflation? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Thank you. 